Hey everyone, my name's Drew and we're here and this is going to be a continuation of uh, a previous Players Cup video that I made. And this was a very out there team. This was a team that I had a lot of fun with. If you'd like to see more of kind of the team building process and thought and thing behind it, there is a full team breakdown in the first part of this linked up the cards. But for everyone that's already seen that kind of process, we'll just get straight in some battles. Okay, we are in another team preview against a decently high ranked opponent, which is really scary, but... Um... Wow, seeing a Bulu, that's really fun. That's a lot of fun. Uh, so probably no Landorus in this one. Yeah, there, there's no even real reason to bring the Landorus. Although, Rock Slide's gonna be really important. Yeah, that's, that's a tough one. I think... I think Zapdos leads here, right? Zapdos and Thunderous could just win off a lead here. Zapdos and Thunderous could win off of a lead here. Uh, who knows? Incineroar in the back with Porygon. Incineroar in the back with Porygon. That all feels right to me. But is it right? Yeah, I think I, I I think it is. I think I think if anything, he leads off with Thunderous. I think he leads off with Thunderous and Rotom. Either Thunderous and Rotom or Thunderous and Celesteela. That's my prediction. I don't have much to, to base this off of because my my Players Cup experience has not been the strongest, and I clearly am not um, in this meta enough to really uh, feel out these type of leads. But that's gonna be my my based on nothing prediction. We will see. We will see. Sends out the Thunderous and the Porygon too. That was, I mean, I mean that was a secondary thought for me, but it felt I don't know. It felt a little bit less. It felt a little bit less, uh, more dubious, I should say. Um, how do I play this? I definitely have to go out into the Porygon. I definitely got into the Porygon. And I definitely max. I mean, I probably just max lightning, right? Mm, I don't know. This one's this one's not great. Actually, okay. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of time on this one. Okay, we're gonna make a much riskier play. But if this pays off, then this pays off. Like, like what can I say, right? We're gonna, but we're just gonna go. No, it, no, I. Th that was a bad play. I don't think that. I don't think that one works out for me at all. I think what he does is he max lightnings my thunderous and he, or my zapdos. Who knows? And he just ice beams into my la my thunderous. He probably max lightnings into the zapdos slot. And in which case, I just, I just did a bad play like there's no way around that one but there's a taunt he still doesn't know that i am prankster because it could have just been a speed time max lightnings into the porygon slot which is the zapdos slot and uh, i probably just get ice beams on the thunderous which i mean i say it's worst case scenario it's it's it, it, it didn't end up being as bad as it could have been only because oh he does go for the trick room that's nutty to me okay okay so not as bad as it could have been but still not great. Definitely still not great. Um, so now what do I do? I really can't afford to let my Porygon go down here, right? I mean, maybe I can. I guess I do this, and I guess I do this. Um... Well, no, I guess if anything, I do this, right? No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I got it in. Um, I'm burning a lot of my own timer, but it's it's tough. I, I feel like I'm overthinking these plays, and it's hurting me on timer. It's hurting me on stress levels in general. Um, 
but again, this this just feels mildly unusual, and I need to kind of feel out how to play this. But by the time I, I get a feeling for this, it might already be too late. I, I get the Max Lightning off first, which is great. He might try to target down my Porygon, but goes for the Max Airstream. I think ultimately that'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, ultimately it's, that'll be fine. No, that's very much not fine, actually. That's actually mildly worst case scenario. That's a mildly worst case scenario. There's a try attack. Uh, I have to go out into Zapdos. I have to go into Zapdos. I have to just let Zapdos go down, right? How do I play this that doesn't... That isn't just the worst... Yeah, I trap myself. Well, I think I have to go out of Zapdos regardless. And I have to take out this Thunderous. Which means I have to double target it. And I have to give up another one. Yeah, I just have to give up another one. Or wait, wait. That's unexpected. That's very unexpected. Although, I don't think I KO the Porygon, which is bad. But that's very unexpected. I don't I, I don't quite understand that play. But it never matters because even, even with the close combat, I don't think I KO here. But if I do KO, then that's obviously huge. That's huge. Okay. I'm still mildly in this match somehow. Um, you probably didn't expect me to be in it. I don't know. Either way. Either way. He might have choked. He might have choked. Um, it's difficult to say, but Cell Stealer comes in. Huge, huge. Tyranitar comes in. Also huge. I mean, this is potentially. Wow, yeah, this is potentially best case scenario. Um, I think what I do. I think what I do is I close combat here and I go into Incineroar. Yes. Because if he protects the Celesteela, then I don't get then I don't KO with with um the lightning and between the sandstorm and, and the life orb, I KO myself. But if I go into Incineroar, then I then I weaken then I weaken the Tyranitar. I get off a of close combat. He could double protect, which would be interesting, but I doubt it. Um, but if I take out the Tyranitar on this on this turn, then I'm still in a solid spot. Does the Celesteela also protect? Does the Celesteela also protect? No, does, does Celesteela attack? Air Slash into... Yeah, okay, that's pretty bad. Oh, uh, that's pretty bad. Okay. Well, no, I... Okay, still not worst case scenario. So not worst case scenario territory. But not far from it, honestly. Um Because the self sealer can protect now. Yeah, that, that that turn surprised me a lot. That turn surprised me a lot. Because the self sealer was so much more He was giving me a max a, a max lightning onto the self sealer. Which doesn't make a whole ton of sense to me. But I just do this, right? This is the only play to be made, right? Tyranitar goes for a double and he gets it. Oh no. That's rough. That's rough. Because now Thunder is... 1 HP, 1 HP on the Thunderous. 
Oh my god. Okay. Does he go for the triple protect? But I have to superpower. And I have to flare blitz. I've been given another turn. Goes for the triple protect and he gets it! What? What in the world? And the cell steel. Oh my god, dude. And he gets the leech heat off. There's no. I just lose. There, there's no coming back from this. That's nuts. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm honestly shocked. The only thing I needed was to first and to not get a trouble protect. The only thing I needed was for him to not get a trouble protect. I played that as well as I could have, right? And and the fact that I even switched out my Thunderous, which I didn't even have to do, because he gave me the, a free Max Lightning onto the onto the Celcilla, which would have KO'd it, which would have meant. Well, it doesn't matter because he always gets the, gets the triple protect in the end anyway. So I, th th there's no way to beat the Tyranitar if he does if he gets the triple protect. So I'm just blown away. I'm blown away. I don't know, man. I I really did try. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Anything but the triple protect, and I feel like I win that. But I, I don't know. We're going to keep trying at this one. We're going to go for another one, I think. Okay, we are back in a team preview. This is a really interesting team. Okay, we will see the Mimikyu. Urshifu. Landorus. Incarnate. Tepu Lele. Gastrodon. And... Um... Tyranitar. This feels like Zapdos's time to shine. This definitely feels like Zapdos's time to shine. Zapdos Landorus is a really optimal lead here, potentially. I think that's always going to be the optimal lead. Past that, Porygon's a must bring. Porygon's a must bring, and I think Feeny's a must bring, right? Feeny's not. Mm, it's tough to say. Is Thunderous a must bring? No. Therefore, Feeny is. I, th I, th I think that's my logic here. Is Incineroar? No, de Incineroar definitely not. Incineroar is closer to must bring, but no, it's definitely not. This th this functions well. I think. I think a Mimikyu lead is definitely possible here. I also think. Uh, what would he potentially lead off with? Urshifu is a potential lead, I suppose. I don't know. Feeny as well. I mean, Feeny is a really possible one. But... Yeah, it's just really tough to say. I, I really just don't know. Mimikyu and Gash right now. Okay. This I could definitely deal with. I mean, this this feels like the type of situation that my that, that my leads are meant to, to kind of take on. So here's what here's what I do. Um, I get the U-turn off into the Mimikyu, and then nope, 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 nope. I went in the wrong order. I do a wing beat into the Mimikyu, coming off of the disguise break off of the U-turn, and ideally take the Mimikyu off board right away. Um. Big Mimikyu would be, is a concern, but Big Mimikyu would surprise me in this situation, especially turn one. Here, next to a Gastron. Um, I think Gastron has a lot yet to do. I guess... Mm, I don't know. But doesn't switch out. Doesn't get big. So that's going to break the disguise. And then every indication is that a dual wing beat here should pick up a KO. 
And then after that, we are a solid, I think. I think we got a Porygon. I think we got a Porygon. Oh no, Porygon would invite in Urshifu, and I really don't want that to happen. If it doesn't, well, no, I don't, I don't think I mind inviting an Urshifu if Zapdos is locked into Dual Wing Beat. So yeah, I, th I think I mind that. I think if anything, I'd be more concerned about um something that the Feeny would, would would allow in. And yeah, there's the first Dual Wing Beat hit, and there's second. We got the. <laughs> this happened last time. Last time, uh. The second hit crit, but it, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like it never really mattered. There's the ice beam into the into the lander slot. Um But yeah, that, I mean that was as good as a turn one could go, I think. And now again, if the Urshibu does does want to come in, then it gets dual wing beaded. What brings in the Landorus? That's interesting to me. I don't know what to make of that. Regardless, I think I want a Feeny. Oh, no, I, I go into my own Landers, right? No, do I? What does Landers go for? What does Landers go for? Landers goes for Psychic, potentially? I don't know. I feel like I go into Feeny. No. I go into Landers. And then... I just Ice Beam, right? Right, like I... Uh... I don't know. I, I I feel like there's a lot that I'm missing, but uh, I, a lot's going to be explained to me on, on this next turn. Whatever happens on this next turn, I feel like I'm in for something. I just don't know what. <laughs> um, let's see here. Big Landorus. Okay. Big Landorus going for a potential max ooze, I imagine. I don't know. Even that doesn't make that much sense to me, right? Would he go for a Knuckle into Porygon? does could I mean this thing could be weakness policy for all I know right he could he, he could be goes for an airstream okay that's fair oh yeah, yeah of course of course of course I don't know why I didn't consider that but yeah air, airstream into into the Zapdos slot makes a ton of sense yeah it makes a ton of sense um but I can hit up the ice beam oh no that's actually not great but it I mean it's 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 not as bad as it seems, I suppose. What happened? Oh, we, we just... It was just like a communication thing. That was so strange. I thought i thought the ice beam missed, but then it wasn't responding anyway, so I, I, that was very, very confusing to me. Now, by the looks of it, it looks like I have to go for muddy water and ice beam at the same time, which is fine, but um, it would just be better if that wasn't the case. Right? I, I, I wish I could just moonblast into the, into the... Into the into the Gastron. Actually, I, I, I suppose I should Moonblast into the Landorus, right? But it doesn't do as much damage. I really need as I really need to ensure the KO. And it looks like I need... Uh, it, it looks like I'm just on the cusp of, like, being able to ensure that type of damage. And I really need to ensure that type of damage. But if I had to guess, this Landorus does kind of seem AV to me. And if that is true, then I like it. Like, it just seems like a super solid set. Um, AV Landorus Incarnate with um, with Max Airstream. It goes for the Max Bar. That's totally fine. It will give... Yeah. Yeah, it it will give um, the Gastron a free Storm Drain, but I, I'm, I don't feel like that's going to be the biggest deal in the world, I, but it's tough to say. It goes for a Clear Smog. And uh, I feel like that's fine. I don't think there were any stat changes on board, were there? Oh no, it, I mean, it actually... Yeah, no, there, there weren't any stat changes on the board. Oh, he was, he was trying to cancel out a potential... He was trying to cancel out a potential Calm Mind. But if anything, I, I feel like I just protect, and I feel like I just go for an Ice Beam here. I think now... I'm, I don't know, I feel like this Gazron is going to continue to target down my... my Feeny, and if that's the case, then then you know let it let it kind of hit in, into it and um i'll put myself in a position to kind of manage uh this board a little bit better once i get an ice beam off on the landers and i don't think that the landers is going to do the most amount of damage i, I, don't, I don't know I, I just don't know what to expect here max ooze would be interesting max quake okay that's fine that's fair that's fair i don't think max quake makes the biggest difference 
I don't I don't know. Oh no, the, the Slanders is probably just life orb. It's probably just sheer force life orb. Well no, it, it well no, life orb would have take down. I, I would have seen it once it goes once it gets big. Double targets, interesting, interesting. That's a crit. That's not a crit. I'm very confused. I'm gen I'm generally very confused. Genuinely very confused. Um Yeah, does any switch make sense here? Uh I'd be going into Zapdos. I'm just gonna clear smog. I think it just targets on the Porygon, right? I think it just targets down the Porygon. Um. Oh no, he can't stop this anyway, right? I feel like I just have to get this muddy water off and then I try to recover. I make an attempt at recovering. Man. These are very strong plays. These are genuinely very strong plays. Because he's getting himself just a, such free storm drain recovery, and it's really bad for me. But I think I, I, I think I get the recover off regardless, which is what I really wanted out of this turn. And I think I just have to recover again next turn, even though I have to give this thing another storm. Actually, I, know, I, I don't know how to give this thing another storm. I could just heck and moon blast. Which I should have done this turn too. I was just too silly to do that. Um, part of me just wants to protect. I, I potentially protect and protect and recover. Do I protect and recover? No, I, I no, I don't think that gets me as much as just moon blasting. And then recovering again. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think this gets me more in the longer run. Right, like it, it feels cute to do that, but I don't think it gets me as much. Yeah, especially if this lander isn't going to do a whole heck of a ton of damage. If we can finally just get this thing off the board, because I think at this point, Z uh, my my Zapdos outspeeds his team, his entire team. Throwing scarves, obviously, but uh, I don't think there's any really to worry about. And uh, we keep both mods on board, which is poggers. It's pretty great. Big Landorus was really scary. Big Landorus was really, really scary. But now Feeny's pretty much full. And... We deal with whatever wants to come in. Tyranitar. Okay, Tyranitar scary. Tyranitar scary. How do we manage that? I think we... I think we protect... And I think we Thunder Wave this thing. And we have to wear down the, the Gastron, which is always going to be difficult. But... I think... We get there in the end? The Tyranitar is very, very likely to be weakness policy. Oh, well, that's not good at all. That's really not good. Um, yeah, what do I do now? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I'm tired. I like this. Sh this would genuinely be my, my last game if uh, that's the kind of nonsense that I do. Uh, so let's see here. Let's see here. And of course, that's that's the last turn too. Um, I have to moon blast into the Tyranitar. Where, the, where do I hit the Gastron? I don't know. It's so difficult. This is actually genuinely difficult. Oh no, I think I just recover here. These sets are awful. 
Now we see, is it, is this thing going to be weakness policy? It's not weakness policy. That's a little bit of a saving grace here. But if this Tyranitar is going to be the super awkward set, then I think I might be able to just straight up KO with a... With a... With a raw banded, uh, banded close combat from Zapdos. And if that's the case, then... I don't think... If that's the case, and, and I can hit Tyranitar well, then I win. And if I don't, then I don't. But what are you going to do at that point? This thing could be fully special. And if it... Well, no, I, I don't think so. I, I, could it be? Yeah, I think it might be, actually. So I definitely hit double into the Gastrodon. And uh, let me see. I definitely Moonblast here. And this should be about the same... Oh, no. It's nowhere near the same... Oh, but I but I do have the opportunity to get big too. Which I think I have to take here. Yeah, I think I have to play it this way. I think I have to play it this way. So how does this work, right? I can move I can move blast for one turn. Um I can max bar I I can hit this for a close combat, but hopefully get the KO. And then I max guard the next turn. And then I max guard... I go for a, a second max guard? Yeah, that had to KO. Um... I think... Hmm... Because if I could get out of big mode, that would be so much better for me. That does no damage. There's the Ice Beam. That does so much damage. I think... I think now that I'm at plus one... I think now that I'm at plus one... Airstream does more damage? I have to moon blast here. And Yeah, Airstream does significantly more damage. But no, I have to Oh no, I can't max guard. Jesus, I don't have max guard. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, this is bad. This is not good. That's a lot of damage. Was that, was that a crit? That's just a lot of damage. No, that's not a crit. That's just a lot of damage. Yeah, I I got way too in my head on, on that one. I thought, like, Airstream would do, like, 70%. I, e even 70%. Feeny could have picked up the slack. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I was worried in my head for nothing. I guess because it was never going to just do, like, 50%, right? So I guess I never really had much to worry about. But yeah, that one was kind of stressful. I got way too in my head on that one. But that was my first opportunity to go, to go big Zapdos, which is which is fun. And Thank with you. that, thank you guys so much for watching. We're back really, really soon with more battles from the Players' Cup 3, as well as more weeks of some draft leagues that I am taking part in. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be once again out.